We are on our way to St Mary's, home of Southampton Football Club. Southampton's greatest moment, for all those old enough to remember, is still their 1976 FA Cup victory against Manchester United. St Mary's is home for Play With a Legend. Showcasing their skills would be the club's living legends, Matt Letizia, Brett Ormerod, Jason Dodd and Francis Benali. Matt Letizia's outfit will be wearing all blue and it contains Samuel Robbins, Tom Merritt, Jason Waugh, John Hogarth, Jamie Wainwright, Martin Wolfe, Thomas Pointing, Lawrence Sinton, Ryan Vassalo, Matt Letizia, Matthew Hassel, Sean Good, Paul Wakefield, Paul Tyrrell, Dan Bundy, John Vine. Brett Elmore's squad will be wearing burgundy and sky blue and boasts Luke Farrow, David Prince, Ian Blair, Jonathan Garthwaite, Tom Makepeace, Rich Williams, Jordan Christians, Gary Farrow, Ian Chalmers, Brett Ormerod, David Lawson, Harry Bennett, William Fitzsimmons and Richard Pearce. And there's the two teams ready and able for this game on this wonderful pitch. There's Matt Letizia, 48 now, a Sky Pundit and Brett Ormerod's team are ready to get going for this mini tournament. Six games will be played as the outfit of Ormerod comes forward now. And the former pro, 20 year long career here at Ormerod on the ball, wearing number 36. Good skill from him. Dancing around in midfield at the moment. There's a chance for the number nine for all. Oh, that's hit the post. Well, he got away with it, the goalkeeper. Samuel Robbins. It was a good effort. Have a look at this again. William Fitzsimmons denied by the woodwork. It is his outfit. Good play from Bundy. Has a chance. Oh, the goalkeeper let it go and almost nipping in between him. Well, the Blues. Here's Omeroyd. Doing well. Going forward. Here's a half chance on his left foot. Trickles back to the goalkeeper, though. Samuel Robbins, easy opportunity for him as Ormerod, well, what a career he had. Here's the Blues again, here's a half chance, oh it's gone in the back of the net, super goal. It's a quality finish from Paul Tyrrell, the 44 year old in Matt Letizia's team. And you can see why he is, that's a lovely finish. He kept it low, wide of the goalkeeper, Luke Farrow. 1-0 to the Blues. Ormod's free kick goes into the penalty area. He's getting it out eventually. But, uh, and there it goes, the whistle. It's a 1-0 victory. A Paul Tyrrell goal separates the two sides. Well, we're here at St Mary's, your old stomping ground. Brett, how did it feel out there? Uh, good. I mean, there's not a lot of oxygen and we played first when the sun was at its highest, I think. But uh, no, I really enjoyed it. A bit unlucky there. I thought the result didn't quite go your way. Yeah, I thought, you know, we had all the play. Um, team for the fans, I think. But unfortunately, we got hit with a sucker punch. But um, two more games to go, so we can turn it around. And you can still play a bit, can't you? Um, that's open to opinion. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I just uh, run around and enjoy it. It's, um, you know, it's just great to be down here with the lads, uh, see some old friends and, and, and play at St Mary's. A lot of these players that uh, haven't played at your level are getting a real buzz talking to you on the bench there, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'm like Jack and Ori. I mean, I've got some, they asked me, I can tell a few stories. But uh, no, you know, it's, it's what it's part and parcel, you know, that's why I enjoy coming down and, you know, and, and having a laugh with the lads and, and stuff and uh, like get, get into playing St Mary's, it's, uh, it's, it's class. Matt Letizia here at St Mary's, welcome back to your uh, lovely ground. Thank you very much, yes, nice to be back. I'd like to don a shirt again and some shorts. Uh, um, it's been a while, first time this year on, uh, on grass, a little game of five aside and that's been about it, but uh, yeah, always nice. And what's it like? These players are getting a real buzz being around you, aren't they? That's what it's all about, really, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the boys are loving getting out on the on the pitch and playing in a stadium like this. It's a fantastic experience for them, and uh, yeah, it's nice to see their faces uh, and just be around to, to have the pictures taken with them and just uh, just listening to them realise just sometimes how hard it is out there. And I think maybe they'll have a different perspective when they start criticising from the stands in future. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> well, the good players like yourself make it look easy, don't they? Well, um, yeah, once upon a time they did. <laughs> it's a lot harder nowadays. I mean, you're a TV pundit, you do a lot in football, Matt, but do you still really miss playing, rolling back the years now? 
Not so much now. Um, I, I kind of uh, got to an age now where I've uh, accepted that I'm never going to be a professional footballer again. <laughs> it's taken a while, but you know, you know it's uh, it, it's just one of those things. You know, it was lovely while it was there, um, and yes, you, you do miss it a little bit. But I, I kind of had a really good life since I retired, so it's uh, it's been pretty good for me. What's it like to see these players like Jason and Brett? back here uh, it's nice to see them obviously I see Franny quite a bit anyway because uh, we uh, we socialize uh, a fair bit and work together anyway so um, but yeah for, to, to see Dozzy and, uh, and Brett who's obviously living uh, up north so it's uh, it's a very rare to get to to see him so it's nice to catch up with them and they're still a bunch of characters aren't they they certainly are yeah yeah they don't change uh, they, they might be getting a, a year older each time but uh, um, still love a little bit of band a little, little bit of Mickey taken as soon as you get together it's great well, game two, starring Francis Benali, Jason Dodd, the former Southampton legends, and the squads for each side. Jason Dodd's team will be wearing yellow and contains the following players. Joe Bound, Christopher Raitt, Jason Dodd, number two, Tom Williams, Kevin Bound, Alvin Short, Nicky Hunt, Del Smith, Adam Matthews, Paul Hankey, Jay Willis, Scott Fern and Andrew Whiteside. And Francis Benali squad wearing those striped red and white tops. Jason Langley, Matthew Jarvis, Francis Benali wearing 15, Colin Reid, Danny Brown, Steve Jones, Anth Heyman, Paul Collingwood, Joe Hassel, Matt Over, Tom Foreman, Lee Chandler and Paul Over. Underway, ball comes forward, it's an opportunity for the Yellows already. Cuts inside. Oh, he's cut it across beautifully. This should be a goal, and it is. Super finish. Really good play from the Yellows there. Pierced open the defence. And Alwyn Short scored the goal. Well, his side coming forward. Here's a chance, and that's gone in. It's an own goal, would you believe it, from Jason Dodd. Well, he scored nine goals for Southampton in his career. And he's got off the mark, but unfortunately, in the back of his own net. 398 games for Southampton. And this is a game with play the legends, but it hasn't got off the greatest start for him. But it's one all. Oh, it's hit the post. Brilliant effort. Ball fired back in. Benali defending like a terrier there. Offside. Yellows on the ascendancy again. doing well. Andrew Whiteside doing well. Opportunity for Yellows again. The ball comes across. That should be a goal and it is. A lovely finish. Christopher Wright scored the goal. And look at this. No offside given. And the ball comes across and there he is. Finishing in fine style. Slotted at home. Warranted a replay. 2-1 to the Yellows. And it is the final result. Jason Dodside winning 2-1 against Francis Benali. This is game three of this mini tournament. Play with the legends. It's Letizia's all blue squad against Jason Dodds, yellow and blue these two sides underway both won their first game looking to get another win on the board there's an opportunity inside the penalty area it was a uh, good play ball comes back in the box evades the goalkeeper here's a chance oh off the line brilliant play well Jason Dodd I think it was who cleared it off the line he'll be delighted with that after scoring an own goal in the first game and a, and a Good laugh there between the two players. What a competition this is for these players to play against these ex-pros in this uh, wonderful.
beautiful pitch here at St Mary Southampton. What a through ball. Here's a chance. Goalkeeper goes down, spreads himself, mix up in defence and a goal. Jason Dodd's team have taken a lead and that's a fine finish. Andrew Whiteside, the goal scorer. 1-0 to the Yellows. Some really hearty challenges go in as the whistle is blown already. It's finished. 1-0 to Jason Dodd's squad. Dodd was the hero because he cleared the ball off the line. Otherwise it would have been 1-0. Well, this is game four, Brett Ormerod versus Francis Bernali's outfit. Bernali's outfit wearing the stripy red and white tops and Ormerod's wearing the sky blue and burgundy. And Ormerod's squad, well, they've got off to a defeat against Letizia's outfit and Bernali's also got off to a defeat against Jason Dodden. Here's a half a chance. Is that going to be cleared? The goalkeeper's just about got it. Langley did well. Jason Langley saved the day, really. Here's Benali, will clear it on his left foot, drills it down, only as far as Brett Elmeroid though, the number 36, the former pro, that's a really good looking ball. Here's a half a chance, and Langley saves again. Brilliant play. Well, that was a really good opportunity. Goal kick again. Jason Langley, the goalkeeper, will take it. That's again, chested down by Elmeroid. Here's a half a chance, it's gonna go in the back of the net. It's a really good finish. And Richard Pierce has made it 1-0 to Ormerod's squad. Langley, no chance at all, shaking his head. Couldn't do much about that. Going forward again. It's a good play from Ormerod's squad. Fired up for this game. It's a good looking ball, here's a chance. Should be cleared, not yet though, and opportunity. Drills it in the back of the net. Wonderful finish. Ian Chalmers makes it 2-0. Well, he fell upon the chance and he wasn't going to miss. And he wasn't offside. And he goes and boots it in the back of the net. Clinically. Well played, Chalmers. Finale's outfit struggling to get a hold of the ball for most of this game. Still plenty of time to go, though. Oh, here's a chart. Is it going to go in the back of the net? Yes, it is. It's David Lawson who's finished inside the 18-yard area. Well, he's put that one in the back of the net. 3-0 to Ormerod squad. Here is the former pro. Former Southampton star, Blackpool, played over 200 games for them. Here's a half a chance again. Back of the net. Yes, it is. It's number four. It's Lawson again who's finished. Makes it four goals to nil. That's one way traffic at the moment. Play with a legend. Ormerod and Banali. But it's Ormerod, it's team who are winning everything. Here's a chance. And that is number five. Again, William Fitzsimmons slotting the ball coolly into the back of the net. They have been fizzing the ball around Onward's team and they're still going strong. Taking this game by the scruff of the neck. That's a really good looking ball. Here's an opportunity and it's a great save from Langley. Super save. Still there attacking. Langley saved again. Here's another opportunity cleared by Benali's team. And the referee has finally noticed the linesman flag is up. Well, relief there for Langley, did so well. Saving his team from a further avalanche of goals. Really good play from Ormerod. Drills the ball into the area. Langley's dropped it, and here's our opportunity. Oh, number six. Ian Chalmers gets his second. It is 6-0 to Ormerod's team. Well, Langley succumbed to the pressure. And their noses are getting rubbed in the turf as Benali's team. As they go forward again, Ormerod's team. It's a lovely chip. Really good play. Make peace doing well. Trying one. Not a bad effort at all. Why not on this stage? And there goes the whistle. But Ormerod's team have 
outclassed Francis Bernali's outfit by six goals to nil. Okay, here with Jason Dodd back at St Mary's. Jason, how's it feel? Yeah, it's great. We're having a great time. I mean, I think I'm lucky enough, the team that I got, we got some really good players, actually, and they want to win. So we managed to win the first couple, and in the last game we got to play Brett's team, and they won two as well. So I imagine it'd be a good little final for us. How are you finding the pace of the game? <laughs> yeah, it's great because it's slow, so it suits me down to the ground. No, 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 we got, we got some quicker boys, but it's, I think that's what the night is so good. It's like the varied fitness, and it's not about that. It's about the chaps getting out there, being on St Mary's, sampling the atmosphere, and really understanding that when they're there watching, it's not easy for the boys out in the middle. They have to, they have to put a shift in and perform. And a lot of them are saying they're really getting a buzz being around you, and you know, you're know you fairly vocal young man, so uh, they're getting a real buzz out of that, aren't they? The thing is, I was like that when I played, but the thing is, when you played, it was 30,000 people there, so they didn't hear you. Well, very rarely did they hear you. So obviously it's just, I mean, you're no different. I was like that every training session and every game. And like I said, I can't move them when they're around as much, but I still want to win. Um, and like I said, I think they're feeding off that, but they want to do quite well for themselves as well. As you see up there, they've got lots of family that are watching, so there's their little bit of pressure that they've got to perform because, so they told me, a lot of their family members have been giving them a bit of stick. Um, but like you said, they're enjoying it, and I think looking over there now, Brett's team that were just about to play in the final, they look knackered. So that's what I'm going to be hoping for, that will hopefully play in our favour. And what's it like seeing Matt Letizia here as well and Brett and Francis? Yeah, it's great. I mean, when you finish, like I said, Matty's on the TV, Franny's doing all his charity stuff, Brett's up north, um, so he's doing nothing. Um, but it's just good to see him because you don't see them. I mean, when you were playing, you were with them more or less 24 hours because, like I said, especially on games, you were training all the time. We were quite, when we all played together, we used to socialise, we used to play golf together, um, we used to go out for meals, so we were quite close. So then you drift apart, everyone goes into different businesses and things, so it's nice to come back and have a chin wag and, and see him, and especially Brett, I don't see Brett that much. So all he's done is abuse me, and all I've done is abuse him, so um, it was normal. We used to do that when we played as well, so no, it's great fun, I've really enjoyed myself. Well, it's game five. Francis Bernali's outfit wearing the red and white stripes against Matthew Letizia's team wearing all blue. Letizia outfit of 1-1, one, one, lost one. Bernali's lost both their opening games as the Blues come forward now. Here's Bundy in the penalty area. Rounds the goalkeeper and puts it into the back of the net for the game's opening goal. It's a super goal as well. Well, he did everything right. 1-0 to the Blues. Down that right-hand side now. Bundy just overran it a little bit there. That's casual defending. Ball goes back into the penalty area, into the mix, and then just outside it. Here's Tyrrell, oh, holding the ball up well. Oh, this is Matthew Letizia. But it's Paul Tyrrell. Really good play from him. Glimpses of the old Letizia there. Here's Tyrrell again. Oh, he measures that one beautifully. That's a super finish. He raises his arms and so he should. That's a wonderful finish. Just hit it absolutely plumb. And goalkeeper Langley no chance at all. 2-0. Tyrrell the scorer. Second goal of the competition. Corner. Taken by War goes outside the penalty area. Here's Wolf now. Wolf, Wolf. Oh, what a save from Langley. Well, the big man got down superbly. Corner. Corner to the Blues. Ball comes in to the six yard area. Oh, it's gone against the back of Benali, and that's an own goal. And it's 3 0 to the Blues. Well, some Rye smiles, maybe. But Benali couldn't do anything about that. The defender, as you will see, slipped and slided, and he couldn't clear the ball cleanly, and it hit Benali. And there you go, three goals to nil. Plenty of laughter, though. <laughs> Benali's team not giving up the chase, though. Former Southampton great looking it forward. Intercepted though. Now here's Bundy. Bundy's going again. He 
Stopped and started, and he's just hit it wide of that right-hand post. Oh, that was a lovely effort. Langley's angles were very good, though. And it's Benali's team again, going forward. Oh, that's good midfield work there. And a super three ball, took a slight rebound. Here's Matt over. Oh, wonderful finish from the number eight. That was cool. Just wide of the goalkeeper, Samuel Robbins. Have a look at this. First touch was great, but the finish was even better. 3 1. That Letizia's team leading three goals to one. Matt Obey getting a goal back there. Free kick. Oh, what a save! Samuel Robbins. That was athletic. Brilliant goalkeeping. Thumbs up. Blues going forward again. Really are attacking Benali's team. Comes into the penalty area. It's gone in the back of the net, but the linesman's raised his flag. It's offside. The Blues denied the fourth goal. Frustration for them. Relief for Benali's team, and there he gets the ball as the whistle is blown. It has finished. Matthew Letizia's team three, Francis Benali's team one. Well, super game, wonderful goals. There we have Francis Benali, St Mary's Stadium. What an atmosphere out there for you! It's great, yeah. Nice to to play on the pitch and um, you know play in the stadium, and it's great to see a lot of faces that were here last year as well. So. Some new faces, which is great. Nice to have a, a few games here. And um, I think I've come on the wrong end of the results tonight, unfortunately. But um, I suppose it was a lot to live up to after last year's victory. You played really well, actually. Uh, your team is a bit unlucky, but um, these players are getting a real buzz being around you ex-professionals, aren't they? Well, I think we're enjoying playing with the guys as well. You know, it's an opportunity. We've all got that passion of the game and want to be out there playing. And there's a lot of supporters of Southampton as well, which is great. So... Uh, yeah, it's just great to, to, to have a game and we're a little bit slower than maybe what we once used to be. There's a few lively ones out there which are always hard to keep up with, but um, as you say, there's some good football played at times. I mean, some of those lads out there are in their 20s, Francis, so you did pretty well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I mean by the youngsters. Yeah, there's some, uh, there's some quick legs out there but, um, and some good players, you know, some, some good stuff. Some of the, the saves the keepers have been making as well have been pretty impressive. So. Yeah, very pleased. And what's it like to see the old boys? I, mean, I know you're, you're on good terms with Matt, you see, still see him a lot, but uh, what about the other two? No, it's great. Any any opportunity to, to meet up with former teammates is always a, a good thing to do. So, uh, yeah, it's great to not just come and be part of the event, but to catch up with, with our old mates as well. It's great. You'd do this again, would you? Most definitely, yeah. <laughs> well, it is game six. Brett Ormerod against Jason Dodd. It's the decider. Whoever wins this game, or if Jason Dodd's team get a draw, they win this mini tournament here at Southampton. What a prize that will be. As the Yellows, Jason Dodd's team now, launch it forward. This is a good opportunity. It's Jay Willis flying down, and a great save. Well, Willis was flying down the centre, but Luke Farrow, the youngster, did superbly well. Any goalkeeper will be proud of that. Here's Ormerod's team now, trying to build up play from the back. Given away by Lawson. Fern going forward. Ball has been brought down. It is a penalty, is it? Yes, the linesman has raised his flag. And it's all been short that was brought down. Have a look at this again. Yes, just got uh, his foot tangled up to the defender. With Short, who will take the penalty against Farrow. On his left foot, drills it. Oh, what a save from Farrow. He's delighted with that. That is a super save from the young goalkeeper. He's getting the plaudits, and so he should. It was a good penalty. But look at that. Dive down and push the ball around that left hand post and crossbar. Still nil nil. The commitment is etched on their faces, these two sets of players. That's lovely control. Fitzsimmons to Ormerod. He's dashing forward here on his outside of his foot. Oh, didn't he score that beautifully? 
sophisticated finish from the former professional who played 20 years in the program and you can see why what a wonderful finish cool as you like the former Southampton Blackpool Leeds United Wigan Preston North Air Nottingham Forest Wrexham professional showcasing his skills beautifully there on this Southampton St Mary's pitch yes he's happy with that former world who travelled down for this game taking three hours from Lancashire is home now as Jason Dodd's team go forward short on his left foot lovely cross here's a chance yes it is it's beaten Farrow this time and it is a fine goal short's pass was inch perfect have a look at this on his left foot again the man that missed the penalty well he made amends that's a really good finish from Andrew Whiteside makes it 1-1 the score stays the same Jason Dodd's team the former Southampton pro will win this competition the 46 year old is still really determined good play from Hornwood's team now still going forward here's a chance oh, flashes it wide at the right hand post that's a half chance really for William Fitzsimmons quick throw Hornwood he's in 40 he can still play that's a lovely ball not into the mix Heisman's flag is up. Well, Jason Dodd there, his team will win this mini competition here at St. Mary's for Play With a Legend.